Who here could raise their hand and say the first name of every single person they turned around and talked to? Raise your hand if you could do it. Be careful, I might call on you. So how many of you could say the first name of everybody you just talked to? What's chapter one of Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People book teach us? What's the first chapter in the book? Name. Thanks. Is it Oz or Oscar now? What the heck? You're like, is it, is it? You're, you're like, uh, give me a, uh, he changed his name in the middle of like the course. Well, I remember when I saw your picture, but I'm like, I, I could have swore he called himself Oz. I'm going to call you Oz anyway. I like it. Oscar, I like Oscar. So about seven of you could remember that some of you are checking right now. What's your name? Hurry up before he calls me. <laughs> Sweetest sound to a person's ears is what, Chris? Their name. Their name. That's right. Their name. How many of you think that might have been the most important part of the exercise? Just let's figure out who I'm talking to, yeah. right? How many of you have went and met people at a networking event and you walked away and you went, oh my, dang it, what was that, what was, the, what was her, oh, was it a female even? I, <laughs> how many of you have done that? But, but yet they had your card, so you're hoping for what? Right? You've heard me talk about this in the course. Right? Leave your cards at home. Take an interest in people. Get their cards. One of the very first things you should do in addition to remembering their name when you meet them, and it's simple to do it too. Repeat their name back. Right? What's your name? Richard. 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 You go by Richard or you go by? Rich. Rich. All right, great. That's it. That's going to help me remember now. Right? Now, if I'm Still struggle because I'm meeting a lot of people. Now I gotta like put like I'm pretending right now you're wearing a whole suit of money. And you're rich, man. Okay? You got gold necklaces on, gold bracelets, you got a gold top hat right now. That's how I'm looking at you. Because I'm not gonna forget now your name's Rich. I don't have to look at his name tag. That's the sad part. Some of you are like, damn, and they're all wearing name tags. I don't know the damn first name. Right? That's the most important part. So get, that's the fundamental stuff. Some people are like, well, I don't want to read a book, Joe, from 1967 or whenever, How to Win Friends and Influence People. I read that book every single year. Every year I read that book. Because he teaches principles in there that are like so elementary, so simple, but were life-altering in my career because I started making people's names a priority. Okay? And... So I just gave you the entire technique for remembering a name. Repeat it back to them. Make sure, ask them for sure what they want to be called. Because it's still formal. I just met Rich, so he tells me his formal name, Richard. Right? But once we build, I, I want to have rapport with him ongoing, and I want to personalize the rest of our conversation. So I ask them, is that what you go by? He says, Rich. Right? And he smiled when he said it, because that's the name he likes to be called by. Maybe you saw him smile when he said that part. Right? Doesn't even know why he said Richard, probably. Your name tag says Richard. Your name tag says Richard, right, because that's what you put in the form, formal, right? So that helps repeating it, hearing it, saying it out loud. And then it helps to do some sort of visualization, if you can do it, that is like very exaggeratory, or exaggerative, sorry, right? So in his case, it's you're, forever I see you, I mean, it's going to anchor the suit of money. And the gold top hat with gold chains. Sorry, but you know, you know. So you, you and then the next stage of that, if that you struggle with that, is to put Rich into a story, right? I could have him. I see him singing on stage with a bunch of people I would consider to be really wealthy or rich, and now I pictured him. You know, I create a movie out of it. That could take it to the next level for memorization. 